back like we never left BDA. This episode of My Year Academia, it it continued the theme of previous episode of the previous episode, where it's basically they're trying to get you to care for this main character, Deku, Izuku, Miriya, whatever you want to call him. They want to get you to, to, to care for him. They're, they're trying to develop that relationship, that bond between the audience and Izuku. And they're doing a hell of a job because at this point, I really care for Izuku and I really care. I'm, I'm just going to call him Deku. I really care for Deku because he's, he's, it really hurts him and it really pains him the fact that he cannot become a hero. So this whole time, this episode was about the same um, guy, the same villain that All Might tried to catch and got away. Before that, Deku is talking to All Might. He's letting him know, these are my thoughts. These are, are the things I've been feeling. And he's talking to him and All Might in the meantime, you see steam coming from him and All Might just transforms. All Might turns into this skinny, weird looking guy and uh, Deku's like, who imposter that's not all might that i know and all might kind of tells deku like okay i understand you want to be a hero but i'm not going to tell you that it's possible because real pros risk their lives every day so if i tell you that it's okay you know that's 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 not true so you have to look at reality and really face the fact that you may never be a hero i mean it was kind of harsh but it was the truth and he was letting him know that listen people with powers they risk their lives and you with no power i i legitimately cannot tell you to do this so deku that really kill Deku. So All Might, he's now going off. But you find out some things about All Might, though. He found out that he got into a fight five years ago, and he can only transform for three hours at a time. And then Deku says that, is it the fight with Tombstone? I think he says, I think he says that, I don't remember. But then he's like, no, it was a fight that I remain, I told him to keep it private. And I have a theory about who I think fought All Might back then. I feel like it's this, this other guy, yeah, number two. He he wanted to keep the positivity of the, the hero association so he he kept it on the wrap so he is basically dying it looks like he's dying he's spitting up blood and is deku was just like oh man this is crazy so we fast forward and all might leaves and deku's just talking to himself he's really down on himself about the whole hero thing and in the same time that villain that got away sees bakugo and bakugo is walking through the streets and the villain sees bakugo and he apprehends bakugo the same way he apprehended um Mid back then it's one of those things where all might was looking at oh man I, I i just went through all this and i lost the villain and deku even figured it out later in the later down in the episode that he was the reason why all might lost the villain so these guys are both looking at it the villain took over bakugo's body and started rampage and he had the the, the the hero from the first episode that girl the girl that were having people take pictures of her butt she was there you had the same heroes i think iron fist or that that all those people were there and and they couldn't do anything. They really couldn't do anything because the mixture of the crowd, the fires, Bakugo, and the slime, they were just at a disadvantage. So they were saying we should just wait for someone with the more appropriate quirk to show up and that's what they tried to do however like i said deku figured out that he was the reason for this and all this chaos and he jumped in there he jumped in there without thinking and him he himself was saying i can't believe i'm moving i don't even know what i'm doing he's going in he's thinking about his pages and his notebook all the notes that he wrote down and he attacked this slime and really he had no chance all the heroes are saying yo come back come back like you shouldn't be doing this but he kept going because you know that's I guess that's what a true hero is supposed to do, but it was weird because, you know, he saw it was Bakugo and he was going crazy. Bakugo was like, yo, why are you saving me? Bakugo asked him, like, why did you come? He's like, you look like you wanted help. And it was a cool moment because it just shows you that no matter what, Deck was willing to go out there. You know, an argument could be made that, okay, why didn't he run out there for that other hero? You know, that's that's, that's kind of over there, but this was his moment. This was his moment. He Nobody else was helping. So that could be the case where, like, with the, the previous monster they had heroes that were actually doing something with this one and they couldn't do anything so he felt like i should at least do something to save bakugo because i was in that situation and i could barely breathe for seconds and i thought i was gonna die so he he was really trying to put himself in that victim's shoes so that was really interesting and all might he was already there but he felt like i can't do it because he was already past his limit, he was throwing up blood, but when he saw Deku did that, he was like, I'm not practicing what I preach. I'm saying people are risking, or pros are risking their lives every day, and I'm here standing on the sidelines doing the exact 
opposite of that. So he proceeded to save Deku because he's about to get flattened. From there, the hero is then apprehended and Deku is chewed out. Bakugo is praised because everyone witnessed the power of his quirk. So he he's really getting to shine. Deku is getting, basically, he's getting chewed out, okay? Because he shouldn't run out there because he doesn't have a quirk. He's not a hero. He was basically an innocent bystander that went crazy. The most touching part of the episode came after the fact or after Deku left. He's like, I wanted to thank All Might. I'll just write it on his website. Bakugo shows up and Bakugo, it's like he wanted to thank Deku, but he just said, don't think I needed you. I didn't need help. And Deku just looked at him like, yo, bro, whatever. You were right all along. All Might shows up out of nowhere. And then he basically tells him, <laughs> it's funny because at that point he was in his rip form. Then all of a sudden he, he deflates and he tells him, you know, I, I've been thinking about what you said and I've come to offer you something. And Deku thought back to what his mom said. And when his mom was talking to him and he and remember the first episode, he said, mom, that's not what I wanted to hear. And at that moment, you saw the emotion. You saw him grab his chest, and he's just like, he starts crying. And All Might says, You can be a hero. And he just, he was just crying, man, because it, those are the words he always wanted to hear. And he finally heard them from the top hero. So just imagine the tears of joy that this man felt, or that this boy felt. So that was a really touching moment. And it ends there. It's trying to make you connect and feel what he's going through, and they're doing a, a pretty good job of it. You know, um, I would say probably a 7 out of 10 with this episode. Had some really great moments, but let me know what you thought as usual. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. That'd be dope. Have a good day, people.